Hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to the interesting life. Welcome back to Mama Goo's world. I'm a, I think that's what I'm deciding to call it. I could call it, you know, in the life of Mama Goo's, but I had a friend of mine that already used that title just for his story, but he don't have a show or nothing. It's just that I like the way it sounds better. But let's just say right now, you know, I, I change, you know what, if I get this show, just think of how many net times I might change the title of my show. I, that's just me, you know. But before I think if it does come out, before I do it, I will actually get everybody's opinion first. But right now, I'm now talking about something else more important. Before I go on to why I have not been seen on here for a while, you know, not being seen as much. Hello, everybody. Willie, Adrian, Eric. Yes, everybody's seen my title, the title of this video, ATM Fry. Yes, before I go on to anything else, I'm going to tell you this shit just almost happened to me. I nearly escaped. Loss, severe loss. I could have lost a whole lot of fucking money and really been fucked up and not probably been able to get it back. Okay, but this is what happened to me. I finally got my, I don't tell everybody my hey, Okay, I don't like to tell everybody I got my reflex yet because that's kind of stupid. But you know what? I got ways to defend myself from haters. People call me, want to rob me, ask me for money. Oh, you got your refund check? Can I, at the end of the month, can I borrow some money? And uh, Can you give me some money? You know what? It don't matter how much that, AT, that refund check is. It, I got a lot of things I got to do with it. So you know what I'm saying? It's going to be gone real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got things I got to do with my house. I got things I got to catch up on as far as, you know, bills. So, you know, and it doesn't matter. I had worked for this money. Why the hell should I give it to you? Why should I just sit here and give you money and you sit here and act like you owe me, okay? But that's not the point for this conversation. So we'll get on to the other part, okay? The main thing that happened to me, my money, I went, this is what happened yesterday. I checked my bank account. And seeing that my um, federal income taxes had made it in, had made it into my checking account, which now puts my checking account back on a positive balance. Oh, I'm so thankful it is back to normal. I know Miss Adrian has been through the same thing as me. That's why I'm glad she's on here, Miss Adrian. I'm glad you're here. Okay, but what had happened was. Money was in there, but I was getting ready to use my card to pay my credit card bills. And when I did that, my card declined. My card didn't work, but my money was on it. Uh, so I said, well, I went to the ATM machine over on Broadway Market on 4th and, 4th and uh, Broadway. It could, it would not would let me see my balance or nothing. My ATM card, this is safe, was not working. So, if I needed money, I had no money to get cigarettes, no nothing. So, I had to take the bus all the way up to Dixie Highway to the credit union center to go get money out of the bank the old-fashioned way, withdraw the money. And so, I had just called. So, I basically called the bank today to get see if it was going on with my car. And come to find out, they had shut it off on the 7th. They had basically close all my ATM cards because basically what happened, somebody got a hold of my my bank information. I, I don't know who it was. I don't even who. But somebody used my ATM card in Brooklyn and somebody in Brookfield, Wisconsin used my car used my damn fucking card to go fucking shopping at a rich person pick and say organic food store. You know, a place that's like you live around Louisville, you know, Whole Foods Market, place where they get organic food and shit, where all the rich people shop, you know, 
If I had fucking money like that, I'd shop there too. They got some good shit. But what happened was, I, I'm sitting there like, okay, they said the person, it was somebody from out of state that used the card for $49.95. Okay? The card didn't go through because of the fact my bank account is in, it was in negative. Hey, Charmaine, what's up? My bank account wasn't negative, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? But it's a good thing it wasn't negative because that $49.95 would have came out of my money. The money out I had to live off of. Pay bills. So, I was, it's a once I've seen that, you know? I love my bank because once they see a transaction that's out of state, and you have, basically, it's kind of stupid. Every time I go anywhere out of the state. Now, I don't like it even being out of state. I actually would rather be out of the county, you know? I would even want it like where if I, if I go outside Jefferson County, I have basically, if I have to leave, leave the state, I have to tell the bank, Tell my bank that I'm going somewhere and we're all I'm going to be going. So they can keep my car from getting shut off. You know what I'm saying? Because when you use it out of state without telling when, when you don't tell them where you go, as protection, they, they shut off your ATM card. Mm hmm They sure the fuck do that. Unfortunately, that's it's just it's, it's what they do. But, you know, I'm, I'm now glad they did it. I'm glad they looked out for me. I mean, I really am thankful that bank looked out for me, and because, and, I, and most of all, I'm thankful the Lord didn't send my refund check early now. And I was sitting here waiting for that tax refund check. I was impatient, everything. I'm like, Lord, I got this thing earlier, last year and years before. But, you know, this year they didn't go out to the 27th, some of these ATM cards, you know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. I'm thankful. I'm thankful now that that damn tax refund didn't come in or didn't come in on time. I'm glad it waited, cause I'm gonna tell you something. Just think if that tax refund check got in there before the 17th, and that person was using that card, they could have been man. They would have been going to town. They would have cleaned me out. Um, you know, my refund check would have been gone. My bank account would probably be back at negative again, and there wouldn't be nothing I could do about it, right? Only thing I would be able to do is find the motherfucker that did it and prosecute it, they asked, to the fullest. And I guess, you know what, and they have to probably pay me back if they pay restitution. But you wouldn't get it back right away in that, in that circumstance. But, you know, I'm sitting here figuring out, why the fuck? Who was this person in Brookfield? I don't know nobody. So... I'm, you know what, I automatically, let me invite her on here, because this happened to about this friend of mine. Her name is my friend's sister, Marcy. Let me get her on here now. Yes, Marcy, we need you. Basically, my friend Marcy, um, my friend Shay, her, her sister Marcy, the same, I mean, when this happened to me, I automatically remembered um, what happened to my friend uh, Marcy. Um, Mar what happened with Marcy was worse in my experience because whoever used her ATM card and they used her number actually got in there and got some money out. It was quite a bit of shit. It was quite a bit of money they got out of it. You know what I'm saying? And basically... They got they got some pretty good money out of her and but she but what she said what happened to her was um her bank account got hacked. And I think they hacked it through her phone or something. I don't know what they did. Um waiting for her to call me so she can tell me what the hell happened, but I know she got hacked and I'm thinking, well I know that's what happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Basically, someone hacked into my account, but just did not succeed with uh, succeed with the shadiness that they was about to embark on. So, you know what? They got nothing out of me. And I'm going to tell you something. You know, I'm thankful all this happened, but you think I'm going to sit here and say I'm not going to do nothing about it? Hell to the fuck no. You know, this is what I have to do tomorrow. I have to go to the bank tomorrow to get a new bank, to get a, get a new bank card. 
Mm-hmm. New bank card. I'm going to get a new PIN number. Everything. I'm to the point now because of the fucking hackers. I mean, I used my ATM card to get on and get on the phone to pay bills and make purchases, buy stuff. I mean, I had a lot of stuff I planned to do that, do that, do do with that too. I mean, I got to pay my bills. I'm going to order something from Peach's store down in New Orleans. I'm going to, uh, what else? I'm gonna, Charmaine, I'm going to order your book. I may have to pay you cash. I may just have to come over and pay you cash, you know. But, I basically have that to do, and I also got to order some kind of spray online, or some kind of spray I'm going to order. I've got, you know, things I got to be using the ATM card to do. And I get on my phone, and get on these websites, and do that shit. Well, now that this thing has happened to me, and even if I get a new ATM card, I'm afraid to even use the ATM card to do that now. You know what I'm saying? I'm afraid to use this. I do. I got to pay my phone bill. It was easier for me to use my card to pay the phone bill. Can't even do that now. I got to do it tomorrow. And the only way I can do it is I need to ride my ass all the way back out to Dixie Highway, get that $90, go to freaking Metro. They close at 7, so it's like it's 5 o'clock right now. And the only way I get out there and get my money and get paid is if somebody took me out there and I paid them the gas money. Anybody interested? As it's raining right now, and I honestly do not feel like walking out in the damn rain. <laughs> okay. Yep, Sherry, I'm Adrian. This has happened to me. I, I'm really just near escaped it. I just escaped death. <laughs> I nearly escaped being a victim. But the point is, this is what I got me. I don't know how somebody got my ATM and bank information. If they hacked into my account and got that information, they might have other information too. They might have my social security number. They might have other shit. They might have other people. My address, you know, my, they got my phone number, of course, <laughs> probably. And what kind of gets me, hey, Sherry, what's up? Well, what's going to get me, and I do want to warn people on here, that, you know, hackers, they'll get on there and also look to see who your contacts are, who you talk to, who's on your Facebook. I mean, they'll do background checks on you. They'll find out where you live. They'll find out who your family is, everything. So you know what I had to do? I had to get on here and warn everybody that someone just hacked into it and that somebody, you all need to be careful not to be victimized. You know, please watch out because there's hackers. I just, like I said, I just got hacked into they could find, like, say, Sherry, they can see you on my list. That person can come and try to get your bank information. I don't know how the fuck they got it, but you know what? Now, you know, here, now I have a, now my son here, he just told me he, he has his phone encrypted to where they can't do that. So I'm probably going to have that done. And uh, either they have that done. Or go get me one of the money cards and put all the bills. I put any yeah. Say go to my ATM, go to the ATM account and transfer everything. Transfer some stuff money into there that I'm going to use to pay bills and buy stuff. And basically use that money card to go on the phone if I need to do stuff. And not use my. I'm I'm basically not wanting to use my ATM card on the phone anymore. Mm mm. It's only going to be credit cards, and like I said, the only thing I'm going to do is credit cards and money cards. You know, like I said, well, see, I got, I do got credit cards now. You know what I'm saying? I could just pay credit cards and use my credit cards to do everything. I'm not going to use this ATM card. I'm, I'm not using my ATM card on the phone no more. I really feel paranoid about that, you know. But in the meantime... They said it was a it was a pick and save store up in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Oh yeah, I sure did. God was watching. I'm telling you, God was watching because honestly, that money could have got in there, and that person could have took a lot of money. I've been fucked up. Shit, I might have been crying and broke about a week ago, wondering where that motherfucking refund is. But you know what? 
God was just looking out. God looked out because that I'm telling you, God wanted that to be late. He made sure that money didn't get in there, and he made sure, like I said, the bank caught, told me that they that the person did this on February seventeenth at at this pick and save. But I would I am gonna call back up there tomorrow. Actually, when I go back up there, I am going to find out because there's three different pick and save stores up there in Brookfield. And I'm going to try to get the address to find out what store it was. And when I find out what store it is, I'm going to also, I also want to find out what time the transaction was made that day. So I'm going to have all that information. And I'm going to call the store manager and loss prevention at that store and let them know what just happened. And, you know, they got surveillance cameras at checkout. And I want to find out who the fuck did this. And I want to fucking have them prosecuted to the fullest because if this person ain't getting nothing out of me, this person could be doing this shit to someone else. I don't want the person to try to do this shit to me again. So, you know, I'm somebody you just do not want to steal from. You don't steal. You steal from me. You rob from me. Honey, I'm not putting up with it. I'm not putting up the fucking shit. Honey, I'm, your ass is grass. I don't like going through the legal system to do shit. I hate it, honestly. But, no. This person, what they did, you know. You know what's really fucked up about it? Brookfield? Uh, it's kind of west out. It's close to Milwaukee somewhere. Close to Milwaukee. And the neighborhood, or the little town it is, it's pretty nice. It looks like some upscale people live there. And especially someone going to a damn store like pick and say, you know, you know, there's people get rich, you know, you people out there that got that, you know, you never know how somebody's got money, you know, somebody could be just stealing their way and doing shit like this to get that money, you know what I'm saying, and able to live in, in, in a place like that because of what they're doing, you know, it just makes me sick because I'm, I'm not even one of them, I'm one of these people that are practically almost living on fixed income because, but when I'm on just my check and not working, I'm on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. So I'm on a fixed income, and and even when I work and get that little extra money, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still not as bad. I mean, well off, you know. Somebody's well off, more well off than me to go shopping in a place like that, but yet they had to pick me as a victim, you know. You know, and I hate to like say somebody else might not be as well off as me. Not saying I'm well off, but somebody that don't have as much as me, and that person can basically get somebody's, that person can honestly be getting somebody's money that was needed to pay their rent that month. Now that now that this idiot had victimized them in ATM fraud, that person don't have money to pay their rent, they, have, they you know, they got to find some help paying their rent or they're going to be homeless, you know? So I, I got to stop this person from doing what they're doing. You know, I guess you got, I got this. I don't believe in the snitching meal and stuff, but you know, but this kind of situation where people can get hurt, especially people that are vulnerable, people that don't recognize shit, something needs to be done. Yep, I'm definitely going to catch this person. But to be honest with you, I just like to get a fucking car and go find out where the person is and whoop their fucking ass for it. I should just do that. Huh. But no. They need to pay if they robbed all them people. or I don't, I don't know, because if they did it to me, they probably do it to somebody else. So I definitely need to go after this person. Because even though they didn't steal nothing from me, they could have. I was lucky. And I'm trying to even, you know, let's say I'm trying to protect myself from this happening in the future too. So, like I said, I'm going to call that store, get the information. Um, help me with this. Once I find out, you know, they may not find out. You'll get a picture of the person. But maybe if it's somebody they know or something like that, you know. We can find out. Um, there could be fine. I could find out ways they hacked into it, you know. If I could track. If somebody actually hacked into my hacked into my phone and got out my information, I can track where the hacker's coming from and who it is. That that's going to be some work, but it's worth doing. I just don't know how to do all that.
I'm just going to say right now, I'm just saying, shh, I was lucky. I was really fucking lucky. But, you know, the Lord was really looking out for me there. You know, Lord was looking out. But I'm just kind of warning people, you know, watching, especially if you were on Facebook, that, you know, there's a hacker looking around. Okay, all right. I nearly just got robbed for $50, and like I said, if I had money in my account, I could have got robbed for more than that. I'm just sitting here re feeling relieved right now. Relieved this didn't happen. But now it's on going on to my next subject and I'll be back in a minute. Peace.